Hey everybody, this is Steel Serpent, and you're going to be watching my Let's Play of Metal Gear Rising. Going to be doing the playthrough on Revengeance difficulty, going to get the S rank on every single fight, going to do it without damage. Hope you guys are going to like it. I know I'm kind of late on the boat, a bunch of people have already played this game, but I decided why not. Take out those hostiles. Plus a lot of you have been suggesting it, so I bet a lot of you like the game, and why not just support your guys' beliefs? Am I right? Am I right? Anyway, that first wave of enemies is pretty easy. This game is all about parrying, and that's essentially what you just need to do. You need to do it everywhere you can, you gotta do it. It needs to be done. If you don't do it, you're not gonna do well in this game, and... That's what I'm going to say about that. If you're a Metal Gear Solid fan, you'll recognize this guy. Big old Ray. You get to ridicule him in this game, and he's fucking 20 times bigger than you, but I guess that doesn't matter when you're riding, because you're a goddamn cyborg. All these slow motion cutscenes, I'm going to try and just make them as quick as possible. I don't really want to sit there and slice the enemy up for 20 minutes. I'm sure you guys have probably seen some playthroughs already and just not that interested in it. If you have played and beat this game, let me know in the comments. Be sure to comment below. Chop him up. This game is a lot different from uh, Devil May Cry, my Devil May Cry series. Um, I feel like there's a lot less variety in this game, I hate to say that, but this game is really fast paced and it's more about just parrying, I guess. There's not a lot of variety, you don't have a lot of different weapons to choose from. You know, you have your main weapon, you have your custom weapon. And with your custom weapon, you get rid of your uh, heavy attacks. You have to switch it out, which is kind of lame, but I guess that's just how it goes. Here it is, we're going to chop up a stupid little gun. The guns in this game get really annoying, especially when you're just trying to fight normal enemies. They get a little bit far away from you and they decide to pull out their guns, and if you're not ninja running, then you're fucked. And you're not going to get the S ranking, because essentially if you do... If you do well and you get hit, you're not going to get the S rank. You have to do it without damage. This game is just pretty tough like that, but also when you do get hit on Revengeance difficulty, you pretty much fucking die. So <laughs> that's just how it goes. I should have just parried him right there, but whatever. Why not chop up his feet while he runs away? He gets pretty annoying, he likes to just fly away from you, but I guess you just gotta deal with it. Be sure to tell me what you think your favorite boss is in this game. I'm not quite sure yet, it might be Monsoon for me. Here it is. Almost there. Almost done. Oh, of course he's gonna jump 100 feet away again. They make this so epic. I love it. Very good. 
but do not rest easy just yet, huh? And there was the S ranking. This part of the fight is a lot easier. He doesn't have that fucking space to move around and fly away from you. You can actually still hit him while he's trying to shoot you. I didn't know that, I didn't know that at the start, but it makes things a lot faster. Chop him up. That little gun on his shoulder can get annoying. If you're not careful and you're not ninja running, it will hit you. Take away like 30 damage with one damn bullet. It's not funny. It's not a joke. Now we don't fucking worry about it. This guy has really easy, readable moves, and this fight should go smooth, no matter what difficulty you're on. I do like these parts. These parts are pretty interesting. You're kind of just moving the controller, and you're like, what the fuck am I doing? This first level had me believing this game was going to be just fucking ridiculous, especially with this Dante-style wall running we're doing here. These Japanese games. Look at this shit. There's the no damage, the S ranking. Thank you all for watching this video. I hope you like it. Hope you like the commentary. It's my first time. Leave a comment. Leave a like. Thank you for watching, everybody.